after an arduous selection camp, seven budding environmentalists were chosen to join global explorer Mike Horn on the latest leg of the Pangaea expedition. We did it! <laughs> now the time has come for their once-in-a-lifetime adventure as they set out to explore the Florida Everglades of the USA. All the young explorers arrived from all around the world in Florida, Fort Lauderdale, to go on the 10th Young Explorers Expedition to the Everglades. The Everglades, Florida's subtropical wetlands, are one of the most important ecosystems of the world. Covering an area of more than 230,000 acres, it is home to a massive array of plant and animal life and is a vital habitat for many endangered species. Stepping on board Pangaea for the first time, it is not all plain sailing for the young team as Mike puts them to work before they can set sail. We cleaned the boat and had to pull up the rust off and strap the deck and now it's all clean and I think we can start to sail. Finally, the young explorers take to the water. Choose what you're going to do. Go, let's go! As soon as Mike says, we're going to put the sails up, all of a sudden everyone rushes to their place. Um, it's really a lot more difficult than I thought it would be. The sails are operated by winches, and the winches are operated by human power, basically, yep, just grinding away. They're called the grinders for a reason. But when you get the boat going and you see the sails full of wind, it's, it's really worth it. It's a great feeling. And now we're really starting to feel like we're a sailing team. Arriving at their first port of call, Mike has some tough challenges in store for the youngsters. Well, the first challenge for the young explorers would be to do a seven-day kayak trip through the Everglades. I've been on day kayaking trips before, but never an overnight kayaking trip, so this is a very exciting time for me. I think this will be a demanding trip for the young explorers. Paddling for 12 hours each day, the team cover over 200 kilometers of the coast, setting up camps en route and taking part in beach cleanups, removing litter which is detrimental to wildlife in the area. Using kayaks, the youngsters are able to weave between the complex routes and waterways of the mangrove swamps, truly exploring this diverse region. It's really great getting up close to the, to the mangroves because it's such a unique type of vegetation. There's so much nature, so much wildlife, and it's amazing. We saw so many beautiful things. We saw shark and sea turtles and the manatees. For the youngsters, coming so close to some of the native inhabitants was a hair-raising experience. I'd seen crocodiles and alligators at the zoo, but never, ever in a kayak in, in, a, in a place like this. Camping every night among the mangrove trees, the young explorers are hospitably welcomed by some of the more irritating local wildlife. The last night's sleep was pretty good, but when we woke up there were so many mosquitoes. I've had my fair share of mosquitoes in South Africa, but nothing compared to what we experienced here. Everyone's backs were just covered in, in mosquito bites. And we're trying to get rid of them. It's just like a swarm that attack you. I mean, we're kayaking every day, you don't, you don't want that, but... <laughs> After seven challenging days, their kayak voyage through the wilderness is over. I felt so, so tired uh, by the end of it. I really found that I had to dig deep and do it not just for myself, but we had to work as a team to get to the end. It's lots of hard work, but we pushed through it, and now, now we're finally here. This has got to be the toughest physical activity of endurance that I've ever done. With the exhausted team safely back on board Pangaea, the young explorers sail 100 miles to Key West for their next adventure beneath the waves. Firstly, however, they paid a visit to the Hidden Harbor Marine Environmental Project, where the Turtle Hospital is helping rehabilitate injured and sick turtles. The turtles say are brought there because of different reasons. For example, they got caught in a fishing line or they were hit by a boat and deadly injured by the propeller. So the main motto of the Turtle Hospital is Rescue, rehab and release. They try to improve the situation of the endangered species. Known as the diving capital of the world, the young explorers had the opportunity to experience the unique aquatic habitat of the Gulf we of Mexico. We are going to explore the coral reef environment and then they have sank a lot of wrecks along the coast to build artificial reefs. This was the first time I dive in the sea and it's absolutely incredible because you see so much more life in the sea. Exploring the sunken wrecks was especially exciting for the team. As soon as we got into the water, you just enter this completely different world and it's like being in the sets of a movie or something. First it was kind of scary, but when we finally were in there and saw the tables and all the furniture, it was so awesome. Once we were back up, everybody just, we couldn't stop talking about how amazing it was and what the experience it was and how truly privileged we are to be on this expedition. 
As the Everglade expedition draws to a close, the team reflect on what has been an unforgettable and inspiring experience. At the end of the day, it all just works together and everything's great fun. It's an amazing experience to, to look back and be able to say that we've done what we've done. I don't think anybody thought that we were able to actually do this. Amazing.